whoever wants to go ahead and throw at me some of the common objections that you expect to hear asking for people that we've never met that are a new buyer to us to now sign a form to go ahead and just see a property, right? Thought they just could see one property. Now we got to sign a form. What's this all about? How would you frame up a objection? For me, I haven't had any issues with people signing the form. I think the new bit for me is including the compensation part in there. So if the seller or the builder is not willing to pay the buyer's agent, then you buyer are going to be responsible for paying my fee, which is X amount. That's where I foresee having the objections. All right. So say it as if we were in the conversation right now, say it to yes. me the way you're hearing it. Okay. I don't have any issues with signing a form to see the house. However, I will say that my budget will not allow me to be able to pay closing costs, down payment, and to be able to cover buyer's agent compensation. So I do have some concerns about that portion of being responsible for paying you commission or compensation. Oh, Christina, would it help if I walked you through all the options you have available to be able to use my representation and pay for these services? Yes, I would love that. Great. Christina, you really have three options in the market right now. Option number one is the buyer pays the commission direct, and that's the one that I think you're already aware of that you mentioned. Option number two is that fee is already seller directed. The builder or the seller in either case, whether it's a new build or in a, an existing home has already directed compensation for buyer agents. They do this as a strategy to open up the market to the most potential buyers. And option number three is that we negotiated in just like any other term or condition into the offer. And when, what I mean by negotiating it in, when we write an offer on a property, we're going to put that in. And just like we would put in maybe anything else you know when we sit down with your lender there may be some concessions we ask for for your mortgage and there might be some concessions that we ask for just due to property conditions and that is the third option that pay for my services which one in your situation right now without us having a strategy session with the lender are you leaning towards i would most be leaning towards the second option where it would be understood that the seller or the builder would be providing compensation for my agent and what makes you say that because i hesitate to go out and see a home, fall in love with it, and then have to negotiate and hope that they would be willing to pay my agent or, you know, end up loving the house and feel like I have to come up with that fee and I really don't have room to come up with that fee. Yeah. And I'm not sure if it's for you, Christina, but one thing that has been really helpful for buyers, because I understand this is a hard process and it's a process where you get excited about home. We all get excited about a home and we think the next one's not coming around the corner, but I'm not, I'm not sure if it's for you, but would you be open-minded to maybe sitting down and going through all the strategies that we use to get buyers just like you into the right home, into the home that fits all of their check marks, their family's criteria? Sometimes that is a longer process, sometimes it's a shorter process, but if you're open-minded to it, would you be willing to come in and sit down and go through that entire process of how we can get you the right strategy to ultimately find the right home for you and your family? Yes, I'm okay with that. Great. So. Uh, I've actually got, I, I do these every week. I've got 1230 tomorrow, but I also have 530. Which one is better for you to come into the office? Uh, tomorrow won't work for me. Okay. I see that I do have one slot on Saturday in the afternoon at three when I'm done with open houses, but I also have Monday at 1230 and Monday at 430. Are any of those available? If you could squeeze me in on Saturday, I'd prefer that. Great. I'll put you in a Saturday. I'm going to send you over all the office details and help me understand if we do find the right property, are you open to working on a negotiation standpoint, you know, option number three, if it hasn't been directed up front? Yes. Okay. So if I can show you exactly how that works, will you obviously consider that as using, you know, another option in, in your buying strategy? I can consider that, but I, that does concern me a little bit with the timeline. If we have to, you know, try the strategy on this house and then it doesn't work and then we move to another house and it may not work. So it does open up a little bit of concern for me. Yeah, totally. I totally get that. And I want you to feel super comfortable. The good news is most buyers have the same concerns that you do. What happens next when we meet on Saturday, I'm going to go through how that process works so that at least you have all the information to move forward. Uh, if that's the decision that, that that you and your family decide to take. Sound fair? Yes, that works. Awesome. I'll see you on Saturday. So Christina, great job. Those Thanks. are real concerns. Those are real objections that we're going to be faced with. And it's really just coming from a place of uncertainty 
with the buyers. They want to find the right house. They have every right to be nervous. They have every right to be concerned about how this is going to play out. And in those situations, when somebody is lacking a lot of information, that's when the buyer consultation is really important. But just going into what separates us from an agent who's just trying to get a quick buck for themselves, what separates us, we're, we're agents of change. We're people who are serving the community. When we signed up for our license, we decided to serve the community. We didn't get a license to get a quick puck and extract value out of people's pockets. That's what this lawsuit's all about, right? We signed up to serve the community. Now, what separates us is our ability to get them in front of the right professional us. So some of the language I use there is the good news is most people that have the same concerns as you come in, they go through all the different strategies so that at least they have the information to make a decision on how they want to move forward. People want good news and most people want to be like most people. When they hear it, where it's like, wow, most people are making this decision, that's a safe decision. People make decisions based on, I don't want to get hurt. I, I don't want to have pain in my life. If most people are making this decision, it seems like the right decision. The days of somebody just saying, hey, I want to see this house, open the door. I'm not even going to ask questions about the compensation, whatever. Those are long gone behind us. The days of us interviewing for the position of being your buyer agent, being the professional that represents you through this process, just like on the listing side, are here and they're here to stay forever. At BMX, we listen to what real estate professionals want and need. That's why our platform is filled with sought after courses, content, and tactical assets for your business. And that's why we launched BMX in a box with templates and scripts done for you, delivered each Friday. The best part? It's not coming from panel pontificators who bought their followers and don't sell any real estate. It's coming from top agents, team leaders, and content creators in the industry. It's education that actually shows you how to do what you need in today's market. And now it includes editable templates and scripts so you can easily deliver that knowledge to your database. Every day, we continue to add more content into BAMX, into our private Facebook community, content that works, content that our members have exclusive access to daily. Do not wait any longer. Use code Byron and join the thousands of agents taking their business to the next level today. Code Byron for 10% off. I'll see you in BAMX.